Alright, what's up everyone? Back again. Um, I had a request to do a video of my setup. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. Right now, we are focusing on my three cages. The one at the bottom. I have my uh, male blood python in. He's in his hide at the moment. So this is a homemade cage that I found um, online. Well, actually a friend of mine found it on Craigslist. And he told me about it. got it for a great deal. So I picked it up. Um, it has on the left side here a heating pad. And on top. There is a bulb, and in the back, there is a uh, fluorescent light. It's a good cage. It stays warm. Humidity is good. Um, I don't really like the bulb, but if it works, uh, he doesn't mess with it at all. He comes on the hot side sometimes. He's mainly on the cool end. Uh, most of the snakes are for some reason um, but that's that cage on the bottom of that I have a um, animal plastics base being that this cage is bigger than the other two that I have on top um, I put this one on the bottom now up top here I have my two 4x2 two, uh, animal plastic cages These little hinges here I found on uh, Amazon. It's easy access to open the doors. On this bottom cage here, I have my um, albino female. I had inside her cage one hide on this side, which she's in. And I had another hide on this side. Um, but she's getting bigger and it was taking up a lot of space. And she had moments where she was doing a lot of moving around. And I felt that, you know, I would give her more space. And being that she's mainly on this side, I kept that hide and I took out the other hide. This cage is the same size cage with the pop in, pop out divider. I have my sun glow female on this side. And my jungle male on this side. Uh, not really no decorations right now. They basically just want to hide as usual. So that's what I have in here. Just newspaper with some aspen. They hide under the uh, paper. You can see my jungle male there sticking his head out. You know, so this is working out for them. They're only a year old. They got a lot of space in here. A lot of room to move around. You can see she's actually sticking her head out there also. You know. And next we have my rack. This is a 41 quart rack. Four slot. And inside here I have one hook. This is a little small hook that I use for the little smaller babies. Flashlight for, you know, at nighttime when you're checking on. You can see this guy right here. They're always hungry and looking for something. Woo! Yeah, we got a little pop shot there. These two are always hungry. For some reason, I have inside here my male and female head leopards with a divider. This is their setup. This is the female. And this is the male on this side. You guys just recently seen them.
heat gun. We always need that. So flashlight, heat gun, and hook. I also have another larger hook here for the bigger snakes. guys this real quick and up top here we have my motley mill So eventually, these guys are going to be going into cages as well. This is my setup. Four slot 41 quart rack. Two animal plastic cages and one homemade cage. Um, as soon as I get some more space available, I'll probably have two stacks of cages. Probably five or six each. But for right now, we're going to continue to go up with this. This 41 quart rack is probably going to be moved. Probably stack about three more cages on top of this here. And um, that's going to be it. Alright guys, so this is my setup. I'll be back with an update on everybody. I'll do a whole collection video soon. Alright, later.